And uh, the inauguration of Lagos State Cabinet suffered another setback on Thursday as the State House of Assembly remained adamant on the rejection of former Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, uh, Mr. Sam Egube, and his energy counterpart, uh, Olaliri uh, Odu Sote and one other members of uh, Governor Babajide Samulu's cabinet. Uh, meanwhile, the lawmakers confirmed that Mr. Benga Omotosho, uh, former Commissioner for Information and Strategy, uh, Professor Aki Abayomi, former Commissioner for Health, uh, Shola Giwa, and 13 others out of the 18 fresh nominees presented to the House by Samulu. Uh, to take us through this again is our very own Arise News analyst, Dayo Shoboali. Uh, thanks for joining us as always. Uh, yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. is there something more to these uh, rejections of uh, commission uh, nominees, despite uh, us having uh, an AC-dominated uh, House of Assembly and uh, Governor? If you remember, had it uh, easier during his uh, first tenure regarding the nominees. Well, um, see, the, this uh, seesaw or dindong affair, I think it's normal. It's normal screening, uh, screening politics. You see, it is the duty of the legislature in Lagos State to vet uh, the the uh, governor's nominees, and it is the duty of the governor to present them as he has done. But then, the Lagos State House of Assembly led by the speaker, trying to show that they are not rubber stamp. And you know, before this was resolved amicably, you know, they said that those they rejected, that if they published why they rejected them, there will be some rancor. But I'm happy they have resolved it amicably, even though they are still putting down their feet on those people they have not taken on. But to me, it's the presidential system at state level, system of checks and balances, they are to check each other, but they are to work together at the same time. Maybe with time, I understand one of them, they postponed his, uh, his uh, approval yesterday. Maybe they'll bring that back. But if they put their foot down, the certain people are not going to be given uh, a bow, as it were, or take a bow. They must have their reasons, and we must respect that. And I think the government, too, I mean, the governor too understands. Luckily for them, it's almost a one-party state. Out yeah. of uh, 40 constituencies, only two are from labor. So it is a one-party state, and if they still have the guts to still query some people, they must have their reasons. And since they have not made it public, that should be respected. Well, Mr. Shibuya, when you said, you know, um, they're trying to show that they're not a rubber stamp of yes. um, a House of Assembly, and also when you said the take a bow bit, it, it reminded me of what we witnessed during the, you know, ministerial screening. I exactly. I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering, do you think that there are some lessons that need to be taken from what's happening here, you know, by the center with, okay. how, with what's going I, on? I like that. You are the one who has prompted me now. <laughs> you know, this is, this is uh, APC. Mm. They should learn party discipline from the way the National Party put across the uh, principal officers. You know, the, those people that they put out eventually became office holders. Mm -hmm. In spite of the rumors and the wrangling, the horse raiding and all that, that is party discipline. Yeah. They should borrow a leaf from that. And then again, they should learn, that is the governor and the speaker, should learn that things always work out even if you are in the same party. They can learn from uh, Emil Ogon, you get me? And his former boss, the man he succeeded. It was apparent, even though they are in the same party, it was apparent the, 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 the leader of the party threw obstacles in the path of the party's mm. nominee. But he won anyway. That's to be learned from that. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Shavuali, wouldn't yes. it be nicer, when talking about uh, transparency when it comes to issues, whether it's election, election, or what have you, to have an inkling of why those uh, nominated, or rather those nominees were actually rejected? Mm. You know, 
let the public make up their minds as well. Because uh, if you say you reject them now, and they come back again another time, you know, maybe not this dispensation. Yeah, uh, it means it, it must be people will be asking questions. You know, this is what happened during this period, mm -hmm. and now you're you're angling on for another uh, office. And, and then that, we're seeing this scenario that, play out. There must so. be some confidentiality. But wouldn't it be better mm -hmm. to be transparent and let us and see why they... For why mm -hmm. they have not... Yes. Uh, uh, see, the, the way they said it, mm. they must have found something not quite on. Okay, look at... They, they are thorough. Look at the one at the center, like Cynthia said. A youth copper was made minister. And everybody discovered that after... Yes, you know. that is not <laughs> well done. And these guys, they are doing their job. Even though they have not, you know, they have not gone to the extent of uh, watching their dirty linen mm -hmm. in the public. That is to be commended. And yes, I think we should commend them for that and, uh, and allow them the confidentiality. Yeah. Well, they are, they are, this is the majority party in the seat. Yeah. Yes, that's where I see it. Oh, of course, Mr. Sh Mr. Shibali, they're yeah. saying that the, the biggest room is room for improvement. Mm -hmm. Even though you applaud the process so far, are there metrics or new metrics that you might like to see potentially introduced in the future in terms of when it comes to screening of commissioners or even ministerial screening? I don't want to double into that. What I will, what I will say is that, you see, in, in screening ministers, Maybe their CVs should be made public. Do you get me now? Mm -hmm. Their CVs will be made public. So that at least the public will have an idea. Whether it is a square peg in a round hole or vice versa, or it's just a matter of politicizing the situation. But so far, I think, I think they've done well. I see. Except you want me to speculate. Speculate. <laughs> <Perhaps>. Please speculate. <laughs> to speculate, perhaps, on why. You no, know, it, it should be automatic, literally, in a world party state. Literally, world party state. But you see, mm, you know, in the last election, Tinubu did not win in Lagos. That shook Lagosians. That shook the party. That shook the party. And that to hardly round to make sure it is not repeated during the governorship, governorship elections. This is, this is payback time for that now. And don't let me go more to it than that. All right, so yes. uh, we, we should uh, limit the speculation no, there. No, that must <laughs> be behind that. No, that is to finish speculation. All right, so, Mr. Tayo, Shubo Ali, a right, yeah. analyst would like to thank you for that.